everyone. Today, we will be uncreating and installing the Ares FFE. As soon as you receive your crate, inspect the crate, check the shock watch, and the tip and tell. If the shock watch indicates red, please contact Capna immediately. If the tip and tell has blue beads in the arrow, please contact Capna immediately. Start by undrilling the screws from the front face of the crate. Work your way around the whole front face. You will need a ladder. Make sure someone is supporting the ladder for you. Be sure to have the person who is supporting you hold the face of the crate while you are undrilling. you unroll the front side of the crate, using two people to take off the front wall. Once the crate is opened up, start undrilling the black shipping clamps. the shipping clamps are undrilled, remove them from the frame of the area. You may now remove the boxes. Using a forklift, you will now center the forks in the middle of the machine to take it out. It is recommended to use a blanket or some type of cloth to avoid any scratches on the frame of the Aries. Lift up and pull the system out. Once you get the Aries out of the crate, move the crate away as you will now begin the installation process. The first thing to do is leveling the system. Use a level and put it on top of the pressure clamp on the heat exchanger. If the system is not level, using a wrench, Turn the leg levelers clockwise. Recommended a half turn to a full turn on each leg. After you complete the turns, inspect the level. If it is not leveled, continue to adjust until the system is fully leveled. After the system is leveled, take your diaphragm pump out of the box. Take off the two white caps 
and attach on the 3 8 inch nipples for the exhaust and inlet connections. Place the pump on the vacuum stand located directly to the left of the steam generator. Be sure to have the power cord connection of the pump on the back side of the pump stand. Plug the power cord into the pump. Take your 25 gallon internal tank that comes with the system and place it in front of the vacuum pump. Using your 3 8 inch silicone tubing, connect one tube into the bottom of the ethanol receiving side glass. Take the other end of the hose and connect it onto the 3 8 inch barb located on the 25 gallon tank directly underneath the ball valve. With your second piece of silicone tubing, attach one end to the half inch nipple that is attached to the 3 quarter inch tri clamp on the 25 gallon tank. Using the other end of the silicone tubing, attach it to the 3 8 inch inlet barb on the right side of the pump. You will now attach the feed hose. Take the feed filter and attach it onto the quarter inch braided tubing. Using the other end, attach it onto the back side of the flow meter connection. Using a flathead screwdriver, open the control panel. Once you open the control panel, you will turn on the proper breakers in the panel to provide power to the system. You will turn on the top right breaker, the top left three breakers, and then the bottom three breakers, labeled as steam system, vacuum pump, and feed inlet. Close the panel back up and lock it with the screwdriver. Connect your 3 quarter inch FNPT connections into the water lines in the back of the system. Tighten them down with a wrench. The water inlet is the left input and the water outlet is the right input. Using softened water, fill the day tank up 90%. You can use the side glass on the left side of the tank for a visual. Once the tank is filled up, attach the 3 inch lid and tri clamp it back on. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our CAPNA website and welcome to the CAPNA family.